Ever thought the Sahara Desert was just a massive sandbox? Think again, beneath those endless dunes lies a hidden world packed with surprises, like ancient lost cities, massive lakes, and even whispers of Atlantis. Yes, you heard right, guys. The Sahara, stretching across the African continent like a colossal blanket, isn't just about its size. It's what's buried underneath the Sahara Desert that blows your mind. Welcome back to Epic Explorer, guys, with another Knowledge Pack video. Stay tuned with us and we will unfold the hidden mysteries beneath this sand sea. Deep down in the Western Sahara, there's evidence of a mega lake that once ruled the landscape around 250000 years ago. We are talking an area the size of a small country. Scientists have found fish fossils and ancient human remains miles away from where the water flowed from this lake. Believe it or not, this ancient oasis might have been the highway for our ancestors' journey out of Africa. Without it, we might never have made it to the Middle East and beyond. But hold on to your hats, because the plot thickens here. Ever heard of the Richard structure? It's like nature's own version of a lost city, with rings stretching outwards, just like Plato described Atlantis. But wait, there is a twist. It's not man-made. This baby formed from a volcanic eruption ages ago. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't Atlantis supposed to be underwater? Well, yeah, but let's not forget, the Sahara wasn't always a desert. Maybe Plato got a bit carried away with the storytelling. Unfortunately, digging into this mystery isn't a walk in the park. Political turmoil and the sheer remoteness of the area make it tough for archaeologists to dive deep. But thanks to tech, we're getting closer. Satellite scans reveal ancient foundations and even Stone Age tools, hinting at a bustling civilization lost to time. So buckle up, folks, because the Sahara is hiding more than just sandcastles. Who knows what other secrets lie beneath those golden waves? All right, let's break it down in simpler terms. So, we've been talking about whether Atlantis, you know, that mythical lost city, could be chilling under the Sahara Desert's rich at structure. Well, no concrete evidence yet. But hold up, there is still a human presence there, which is pretty intriguing. Some folks think the circles match Atlantis' description, but archaeologists are a bit sceptical until we do more digging. But guess what? There's a whole lot more happening in the Sahara. Think Indiana Jones-level stuff. In Libya, for example, scientists have been using satellites to peek under the sand. And what do they find? Only remnants of a once-lost civilization called the Garamantes were found. These guys were building forts and settlements thousands of years ago. Now here's where it gets really cool. These Garamantes weren't just ordinary people, they were thriving. They had fancy irrigation systems and were basically turning the desert into a paradise. But they made a mistake here. They drained all their water sources and poof, civilization collapsed. Fast forward to trade routes in the Sahara. Bustling cities like Timbuktu, where traders were wheeling and dealing everything from gold to salt. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. The raiders lurked in the shadows, ready to pounce on weary travellers. And let's not forget those epic sandstorms that could swallow up entire caravans. So, yeah, beneath all that sand, there's probably a treasure trove just waiting to be discovered. But... It is good luck finding it in that massive sandbox. There is an old saying, never give up. We have got a map to some seriously cool treasures and they're chilling in the Valley of the Kings. It's where all the big shot Egyptian pharaohs and high priests kicked the bucket and we're talking major bling buried with them. Gold statues, gems, you name it. Most of those tombs got raided or wrecked ages ago, but the desert's still keeping some secrets from ancient Egypt up its sleeve. Now, let's talk about why ancient Egypt was so boss. It's all about that sweet Nile River, the lifeline of their empire. Even though they had the Nile, they still built their coolest stuff in the desert, like the pyramids of Giza, just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Cairo, but slowly being swallowed by the sands.